Hello, I'm Big T from Big T's website, reviewing Google the new Google Chrome, as well as doing a speed test comparison between Google Chrome and Internet Explorer 8. Now, this is the new Google Chrome. Um, it's running Windows in native, as you can see there is arrow here. Um, I'm running Windows 7 Home Premium, so when I maximize it, it still stays arrow. Um, the new Google Chrome is a lot better just to look at, and it feels a lot more crisper when you're using it. Um, there are a number of new features. You can now control the current page um, button. It's there. There are appli create an application shortcut. Um, you can co uh, copy, paste, find in page, save as page, print, zoom. You can go to encoding, developer tools. Um, there's View source, developer tools, Java console, task manager, report bug or broken website. Of course, you can still use the keyboard shortcuts if you want, and that's there. Now, also in um, customize and control Google Chrome, which is this wrench, um, you can go to new tab, new window, new incognito window, which I'll tell you a little bit more about later. Um, you can show the bookmark bar, full screen, history, bookmark manager downloads, extensions, synchronize to my bookmarks. You can go to options, about Google Chrome, help, and exit. And of course, you can still use the keyboard shortcuts. Um, let's just go to about Google Chrome. So as you can see, this is Google Chrome version 4.1. Um, it is the latest version because as you can see, Google Chrome is up to date there and the date here is today's date which is the 15th of April 2010 now Google Chrome has you can explore the options and Google Chrome I like the way they've worded it it's very professional personal stuff nice touch anyway you can choose on startup what following pages to display the home page default search company um, you can manage them, you can make it your default browser, because currently Internet Explorer 8 is my default browser. There's personal stuff, um, bookmark sync, passwords, auto form, form autofill I mean, browsing data and themes. You can get themes from here, I'll just show you some of the themes available. I like the Windows native look, but if you're running Windows XP, um, you may prefer it than the default blue. Now these are just some of the themes currently available from Google. And if you want a theme, you just click on one, find one you like. You click on it and apply theme. It downloads, it loads, and there it is, the Google Chrome's new theme. And if you don't like it, you just click undo, and it goes back to how it was before. As I did mention earlier, there is an incognito. Oh, also, you can just open tabs like this. Um, just load up a page, open a tab, or and you can also say you don't want to middle click. Just drag whatever you want up to there, and it opens it in a new tab. Any link, any any link, or any picture link. So you just I'll just close that now. This is how a new tab looks. All things the recently closed that's the one that I just closed the Apple Store window um, yeah also now I'll just tell you a little bit about incognito incognito is like in private in Internet Explorer 8 um, in incognito pages you view won't appear in your browser history search history and they won't leave other tracers like cookies on your computer after you close the incognito window. However, any files that you do download or bookmarks you create will remain. Incognito also doesn't affect the behavior of other people, servers, or software. Be wary about websites that can collect share information about you, etc. Um, so, I'll just go to that. No, no particular sense and um, let's just go to let's see if I can even go to history in here history you might see that that last Google search did not appear whereas if I did say cheese if I go into history 
the cheese Google search is here, whereas the random letters that I put up did not appear. Now, this is probably the moment you've all been waiting for, our speed test. I do have a stopwatch in my hand. It's currently reset to zero. I'll go to a website on Google Chrome, and then I'll go to the same website on Internet Explorer, 32-bit of course, um, and we'll time the difference. Now, I'll just type the website up. The reason why I picked PlayStation.com is that it is a very big page to load, and it has a lot of JavaScripts and other internet data on it, which makes it the perfect candidate to test how long it, how long it takes. And it's fully loaded in 14 seconds and 15 microseconds. Now let's see if Internet Explorer can match that. Okay, ready, set, go. Bear with me, sorry about that. We'll just start that test again. Well, my friends, I do have the result for the test. Google Chrome, well, yeah, Google Chrome took 14.15 seconds to load the PlayStation website fully. In an Explorer, did it in 19.48 seconds, which I declare Google Chrome to be the winner of the speed test. Um, well, that's it for now, my friends. I will come back and talk to you later. Please note that um, there were a few floors in the test, which I've just realized. This Northern 360 bar was running, as well as um, in Google Chrome, when I loaded the test, I only got up to the third knob loaded. There are two extra knobs showed up in an Explorer, which could mean it's faster. But other than that, that's about it for my test. Um, I hope you enjoyed the review of Google Chrome, and I do recommend you download it, but for people running decent computers, Windows Internet Explorer 8 is all you need. It's got more features, and it's easier to use. Thank you very much.